Hello everyone, I am Muskan Modgil and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is for all my friends who have just entered their veterinary second year and are totally clueless about which books to study from. Are there online alternatives available? What are the prices? Should you be studying from notes or books? And what are the websites that you can use in your veterinary second year and all of it literally. I'm so excited to share with you guys this video. So let's get started. So I passed my veterinary second year examinations a few months back and everything that I say in this video is from personal experience. It's all tried and tested. There were some things that I wish I knew before, some websites I wish I had known earlier about and there's so much to discuss so without any further ado, let's get started. Beginning with the subject list and credit hours, there are total 5 subjects in veterinary second year namely veterinary pathology, veterinary microbiology, animal genetics and breeding, veterinary biochemistry and finally animal nutrition. Now I understand that this might be a bit difficult and scary for many of you that there were just 3 subjects during the veterinary first year that are anatomy, physiology and LPM which I agree were quite easy but then there's all of a sudden 5 subjects that you need to study now but trust me uh, with the right strategy and with the right schedule you will be able to ace all 5 of them with ease and the syllabus is divided accordingly, the credit hours are divided accordingly. So let's start with veterinary pathology first. This is the subject with the most number of credit hours and this is also the subject that is dreaded by many of the students because it's so vast and there's so much to memorize. But it is interesting at some point and this subject is really important in the long, long run. So make sure you uh, like pay attention to all of it and listen to the lectures carefully. So these are three books that I have for veterinary pathology. Now some of you may think why did I buy three books like was one not sufficient? So let me tell you that most part of our second year was spent studying online due to the COVID-19 pandemic and that's why uh, the library facility was not available to us and I'm someone who prefers to have the hard copy of everything that I'm studying and I just cannot study through laptop or phone screens like if it's totally necessary I do go for it but during most days I do prefer that I have the hard copy of what I study with present with me. So, um, on top of that, we are the first batch of our college and we didn't have any seniors to guide us and this is everything that I understood on my own. So, our teachers referred us these books and I thought, okay, I, should, I think I should buy all three of them. So, like any other beginner excited student, I had watched so many YouTube videos about the books and I had read so many articles and these were the books that most of the people referred and I must say these three are really good books. But the question arises, do you need to study all three of them? Or do you need to buy all three of these? Let's talk about three of them one by one. And starting with Veterinary Pathology by Gantia Shastri and P. Ramarao. This is the seventh edition that I currently have with me. And it cost me around 580 to 620. I don't remember. But it's yeah, it's available at varied prices online. I'll link all of them in the description below. So uh, this book has three parts. General Pathology, Special Pathology and Infectious Diseases. This is pretty much all that you need to study throughout your year. So this book is like all in one. It has everything like it has general pathology, it has special pathology and it also has infectious diseases. The language was really easy to understand and I really enjoyed reading this book. Next comes a textbook of veterinary general pathology and a textbook of veterinary special pathology. These both books are by J.L. Vigard and these are much more vast than Gandhiya Shastri. It has all the topics in detail and it just boils down to how you prefer reading. If you need to have a quick go through, a quick revision through all your uh, topics for the year, this is definitely the book that you should go for. It has everything in it, like literally everything. But if you want to study in detail provided that um, pathology is such an important subject, talking about all your future um, entrance examinations or whatever it is. So uh, these JL Regard books are equally important uh, in that aspect as well. It gets really difficult to read the whole book line to line when there's so much to study about and when there are so many options. So I would say that um, whatever you can find online, whatever you can find in your college library, do um, go for it for reference and just keep one book with you for the rest of your life or your, for the rest of your coming year, coming preparation years and that will help you throughout the year and you can just skip the other two. 
Next, let's talk about veterinary microbiology and I must say it is a really interesting subject that you will study throughout the course of your second year. Coming to the books, there are not that many books available that you can actually refer the complete of it for your uh, undergraduate level. So I would really recommend for this subject that listen to whatever your teachers teach you during your class, note it down, make your own notes and if your professors are providing you with the notes, that is more than enough for the beginning uh, few uh, units. Now most of the books for veterinary microbiology were on the expensive side. They were like over the 5000 or 6000 mark and as I remember one of it was even over 18,000 rupees. So I did not buy any of it and what I did was just followed whatever the notes that were given by my professors and trust me they were more than enough. Um, never once did I feel that I'm lacking some sort of book material and they were so detailed, they were so beautifully made. However, for the unit of veterinary immunology, our professor recommended us a book by Ian Tizard and I must say veterinary immunology is a really, really, really interesting subject. Like once you start reading it, once you start listening to it and once you start understanding it, you'll never be able to put the book down again. So I was really intrigued by having a book by my side as well for gaining some extra information. So um, what I did was I took a printout of all the important chapters that I needed to study like that I actually needed to study through my year and I just made my own index and printed just them out. Next comes the subject of animal genetics and breeding that is AGB. Now not many would agree with me on this but this was one of my favorite subjects during second year. And even though the starting is a bit boring because it is all statistics which again is not difficult, it's just boring. Uh, at the same time unit 2 and unit 3 are a lot interesting so don't let AGB bore you now, wait for its magic to happen. Now coming to the books, for unit 1 that is all your first internal examinations, uh, it is all about statistics and I personally could not find during the lockdown any uh, book that could help me with all three units so I was already buying pathology and so many other subjects so what I did for unit one was just try to follow whatever was taught in class but due to online mode I couldn't much understand it however there are complete notes available on the website drwet.in I will link it down in the description below and their notes were so amazing like, like it literally had everything that I needed to know for unit one and during my examination like I just read them before my examinations and all my concepts were clear I had no doubt and I did very well in all the questions that were asked in my examination. For unit 2 which is all about genetics, I would really recommend you to buy this book Animal Genetics Concepts and Implications by Dr. G. S. Bra. It only cost around 425 rupees and each chapter has a separate section of review questions and solved numerical problems and it also carries number of supplementary numerical problems with answers provided. This book is also provided with a glossary at the end of it which is really helpful to just go through all the concepts quickly and even the wording used in this book is so student friendly and it is so easy to understand. This book I would definitely recommend you to buy at least. So yeah. The last unit that is unit 3 which is also the lengthiest unit that you study in your course of AGB. But again there is nothing to worry about what I did for unit 3 was just follow the notes given by my professors. Um, not only that, but I made my own notes for Unit 2 and Unit 3. Um, our professors were really good. They made us understand all the concepts so well uh, that I really enjoyed studying AGB throughout the year. Okay, so I just realized while editing this video that my final video for some reason did not get saved. So there were two more subjects that we needed to talk about. One is Animal Nutrition and the other one is Veterinary Biochemistry. For Animal Nutrition, I have these two books with me. Uh, one is Principles of Animal Nutrition and Feed Technology, 3rd edition by uh, D.V. Reddy. And the second book that I have is Applied Nutrition, Livestock, Poultry, Rabbits and Laboratory Animals. It is again by uh, D.V. Reddy. So uh, both these books are really great I must say but I personally did not read complete of them. There were just like 4-5 topics that I referred from these books and for the rest of the topics what I did was just refer the notes given by my professors. Now some students might not share the same opinion as me and I do not say that these books are lacking in any sense. They are really well written. The author is great. 
if they are accessible to you through your college library or uh, you have a soft copy of them do uh, go through it for all the topics that you do not quite have uh, that you do not get or are not available in detail um, however for like having it for the complete reference throughout your year this did not do me much justice so yes that being said let's move on to the final subject that we have for veterinary second year which is veterinary biochemistry so for this the book is obviously uh, biochemistry by satya narayan and this is the go to book for every medical student every uh, bds student and every veterinary student as well because it has everything available in it it is so well written and it has all the concepts you will need this book throughout your year so i definitely recommend buying this um that was all for the video guys thank you so much for watching if you like my content make sure to like subscribe and share this video with anybody you know who has entered just with me second year and help them thank you so much